Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved. And in today's episode, I've got a few different things that I'd like to do. First and foremost, I really want to make a block cutting machine, uh, which is a machine from Industrial Craft 2, and it requires a bit of stuff, a bit of infrastructure to get there. So let's start off by dumping a few things into the metal former. We're going to need, uh, actually I'm going to need six of these iron plates. I'm going to need a whole bunch of different stuff, actually. We'll take a look at it. Um, one second here. Cutting. Cutting. There we go. Cutting machine. So we're going to need uh, the shaft, the iron shaft. That's pretty easy. That would just stick in the uh, iron block in there. No big deal. The electric motors, we're going to need 10 item casings, which are also pretty easy to make. We're going to need some coils, which is pretty straightforward. The advanced circuit board, on the other hand, is a little bit trickier. We're going to have to do some stuff to get to that. I have already showed you guys previously how to make some of this stuff. The basic capacitor could be a bit of an issue. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Hmm... Destabilized redstone. Can I make... You know, actually, I just real. I just remembered, I think I actually have the magma crucible now. Yeah, so I can actually make destabilized redstone. That's fine. Okay, cool. So, couple things I'm gonna need. Um, let's go ahead and fill up... Uh, I've got a bucket there. Okay, I think I'm good. Um... Let's go make a few things. There's also a couple minor little things that I want to do to kind of tweak our room down there as well. And I'd also like to do something with the floor in there too. So, uh, one thing that I do want to make is I want to make some liquid transfer nodes. And I think I have everything I need to make those. Uh, let's see. Transfer nodes. Oh, transfer node. Here we go. Transfer node for liquids. Ooh, I need some pipes. There we go. And we'll make four of them. That will be plenty for what we need. Uh, I do also need an infinite... Well, I'll need the ability to make an infinite water source in just a second here, and you'll see why. But I think we'll be good here. Let's just get some of this stuff going and I'm thinking what we want to do just to make this a little easier on ourselves when we're using our forestry um oh what the I can picture it <laughs> what's the name of that machine uh this thing the carpenter there we go when we're making the forestry carpenter I think we want to make it a little easier on ourselves and uh to do that I think what we'll do is we'll make ourselves a little infinite water source hiding back here and just feed water into this thing automatically uh, using the liquid transfer node that I just made. I think that'll work out pretty well. So we'll put this here. We'll put a liquid transfer node on top of it, drop a world interaction upgrade in there, and then I think all we need to do is just add the water like so we'll get that to come across and eh, do i want to put a torch back there i don't think so i think we'll just block it off and call it good oh except i forgot to do something very very important and that is break that block so that it's actually an infinite water source there we go and that way this thing fills up with water automatically and I don't have to keep refilling it every time I craft something with it. So that'll make my life a little bit easier. We also have in here, I need to make some tin uh, plates, some bronze plates, and some steel plates as well. So I got to get a whole bunch of, st of stuff together for this uh, cutting machine, guys. Let me get that done, and I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I'm getting the very last things I need right now. There we go. We got our molten signalum which i got from putting destabilized redstone feeding it in through here i melted it down in the magma crucible down there and we've got four signalum ingots now and we can use those 
to make these basic capacitors. So I should have everything I need. I think I need what? Two? Two basic capacitors. Okay, that's easy. Let's make... Oh, that's right. They've got to be in ingot form. There we go. We'll make two of those. And then, I think... Anything else I need out of here? I need these. Let's make one of those. Okay. I I think we actually have everything. Um that took a rather annoyingly long time <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh but that's okay. That's all right. We're good to go now. We've got everything we need. Can I go ahead and make that as well? Yes. Awesome. Yep, we do truly have everything we need. Uh, the very last thing we need is the iron bar, which I should find sitting in here. There we go. So we are good to go. We'll change that back to rolling mode. And let's go ahead and make... The block cutting machine. Excellent. Now, this thing, if I remember, it does need a blade of some sort. Um, we could go refined iron. Cuts materials softer than refined iron. Or I could do diamonds. That, maybe we'll do a diamond blade. That might be the way to go. Let's take a look and see how many diamonds we've got. Because otherwise we'll do the refined iron, which is just eight steel. Uh, take That wouldn't take that long to make. Um, everything else I already have. So let's see, how many diamonds? Oh yeah, I got, I got diamonds for days. So I think we are set. We'll just put steel there, make it a diamond blade like so. And now I can show you the reason that I wanted this thing. So... We are good. Um, I don't know if I can output with it right away, though. I'll have to figure out how to automate it, because IC2 is not a mod that I have really ever played around with. Um, but if we drop our diamond blade in here, and we put, say, 16 spruce logs in here, and then hook it up to some power. Ah, I always forget. You always forget something. I need the, uh, the low voltage power cords from, uh, from upstairs. I knew I forgot something. Ah, it never fails, but that's okay. All right, so we'll grab a couple of these, and now we should be good. Now we should be good to hook that thing up and get it running properly. Okay, uh, let's see. There we go. And let's check this out. Let's see how this thing runs. Uh, oh, there we go. One there, one here. Connect, connect. And looks good. We need to see. I, I don't know what the durability. I'm assuming the, the diamond blade will take damage as it cuts things. So we're going to have to play around with that and find out, because I'm I'm not sure. If it doesn't, then we're set, because I think the diamond blade is the hardest thing there is. So anything that could be cut with the block cutting machine should be choppable with the diamond blade. But we'll have to figure out, because I'm, yeah, as I said, not a mod that I'm super familiar with. In the meantime, though, we're going to start kind of hauling this up. Because I want to do some work in here and get this place looking spiffy. Right now, it really doesn't look so spiffy. It looks kind of bad. Uh, but we want to do something about that. Actually, maybe this thing doesn't take durability damage. It's been doing a number on the six just fine. So, eh, maybe we're okay. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab the chisel. And I'm thinking we'll go into here, and let's try these disordered stone bricks. Those look very kind of industrial, which is kind of the look that I want to go for here. Um, I don't know. I think these look great, personally. 
but we'll do something along these lines, I think, for the center. Let's just bring this all the way over. Um, I'm out. I am out. Okay. Or maybe I want to lower... Do I want to lower the elevation of that, possibly? No, no, I don't. I don't. All right, let me get some materials together. Let me get some stuff organized, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. So, I've got, I think, all the materials that I need, at least for now to get this project up and rolling. So I think we'll do these stone bricks here in the center, and then I'm kind of thinking along the sides here, we have a couple different options. One of those options, which I'm considering, is actually spruce wood. Um, I think it might look kind of cool to do something like this. How's that look? Hmm. We do need to do it on both sides if we're going to do it, though, just so we can kind of get the full effect. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. That's not bad. I kind of like it. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let me check one other thing here, too, guys. I want to try one other thing out. Oh, and actually, before I forget, let's also try this. I want to come back here. Am I stuck on... Oh. Oh, this could actually be kind of difficult. Um, can I get back here? Because I don't want to break... I definitely don't want to break this thing. That would be a horrible thing to do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if I put a chest right here and I run a hopper into it like so, will those output to the chest? Yes, they will. And spruce wood planks if I put those in here, those will chop, but they will not come out. Okay, cool. So it does output from the bottom. That is what I needed to know, and that is good. That is exactly what we need. Awesome. So now I can go ahead and patch this up. All right, guys, I'm going to jump over into a creative testing world here, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So here's my creative testing world for Infinity of All. There's not much to see here just yet, but this is a road design that I was kind of working on, and I kind of like it. Uh, it's basically marble here. Then this is Abyssal Stone from Railcraft, and these are factory blocks. And actually, this looks pretty good. Um... That might work out better than our other option. And the other thing, too, that's nice about this is that it would add some much-needed kind of color to the room as well. So maybe we'll go with this. These factory blocks are pretty easy to make. Uh, in fact, pretty much everything here is pretty doable. So let's try this one out, and uh, we'll see how it looks in the main world. All right, guys, I am back. I'm just putting in the factory blocks now, and I think... I think we've kind of got a keeper here. This looks awesome. Um, and I I don't have the other stuff in yet, obviously. But, man, this looks just, just fantastic. And I really like it. Uh, so I think this is probably going to be the way that we're going to go. But I do need to gather myself some marble and, more importantly, some abyssal stone. Because I don't think I actually have any abyssal stone yet. I might have a tiny amount. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I have four. I have four Abyssal Stone, and I do have some marble, but not enough. So, I'm going to go on a bit of a mining expedition here, guys, to see if I can track some of this stuff down, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and check this out. I have gotten a whole bunch of work done here in this room. I really like this. I really like this a lot. It has a definite kind of science fiction-y vibe to it, and I think it's perfect for uh, what I'm going for here. So there's still a few things that we're going to have to kind of uh, change around a little bit, if you will, make some modifications to. Um, also, don't jump on top of certain machines. They will kill you. 
I'm not sure if this is one of them or not, but I don't particularly want to find out. Um, somebody, I seem to remember somebody told me that you can die if you jump on top of the rock crusher and it hurts you quite a lot. Um, and I don't particularly want to be a guinea pig for that. Uh, also, since if that was the case, it would also destroy your stuff too, and that would be, that would be just a really, a really bad day. Let's just put it that way. So, let's go ahead and do that. I like that. Um, I think we'll maybe take out these blocks back here and replace those with the marble, uh, which is right here. So we'll kind of bring that around like so. There we go. What's in here right now? Oh, stone. I don't want to turn the stone into the cobblestone. And then maybe back here, we'll just put in a couple more factory machine blocks. Yeah, that's a really cool look. I really like that. I'm going to need a lot more marble, though. That's the downside. Although, maybe along here, rather than using the smooth stone, uh, maybe this would be a good place to mix in some more abyssal stone, which is made... Uh, it's basically just chiseled... It's just a chiseled variant, but it if you look really close, it looks just like nether brick, uh, just without the colors. It's the same texture as nether brick, which is what really makes it appeal to me. Uh, so we'll maybe do a little bit of this action right here. There we go. Kind of get that going. That looks pretty good. Um, I don't know... How much abyssal stone do I have? Oh, quite a bit, actually. And actually, I know where I can get quite a lot more of it. So maybe what we'll do is I'll actually just tear up this whole wall here. Oop, that was a mistake. That was not... That was not a block I wanted to break. There we go. Let's do that. And then maybe... Maybe we'll do... Hmm... Maybe this one, too. And then we'd have to break you and these two back here, I think. Oh, and and this one. Because we need you to go... Oh, that's the wrong one. Where is my... There it is. Okay, cool. So just do something like that. The hopper would go there. And then basically, we would just be filling in this whole little bit with the abyssal stone, like so. And let's take a look and see just how that looks. I don't know... Uh, this was not done in my creative testing world. Well, you guys saw my creative testing world. You know exactly what it looked like. And uh, this was not done there. So I don't know if this is going to look amazing or if this is going to look super derp. It might be a combination of the two. Um, but I think if we do this properly, there we go. That doesn't look bad. That actually looks kind of awesome. These, This color palette, man, the abyssal stone, the marble, and the fact, this particular factory block just go so amazingly well together. They're just, oh, I love it. Okay, so that means we want to do the same on this side. Preferably without destroying our industrial craft machines. We're going to have to be very careful. Because that's the last thing you want to do. Is break those machines and have to remake them. Especially this brand new block cutting machine that took me forever to get all the stuff for. Uh, so we'll have to be careful, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. And we want our carpenter to go here. We'll fill this part in like so. That looks good. You can see up here. So we want to fill those in as best we can at least. There we go. Can you see up behind that one too? Yes, you can. There we go. Okay, that looks good. That looks very good indeed. Um, you need to get out of my way. You are just in my way right now. 
There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking we'll get this part in like that. And then this wall is going to be a little bit trickier just because we have to kind of get all the little pieces. Because you don't want, when you, if you decided to basically change the texture of an entire wall, you don't want any of whatever's behind it to be showing at all. You want to cover that up and, uh, you know, make that happen. Because if you don't, it looks just really bad. Now, on the other hand, we've got this kind of uh, guide beam that goes across here. And I'm not entirely happy with that either. So what I'm kind of thinking is maybe we'll take our factory machine blocks like this. We'll still give ourselves a little access ladder type deal thing. And then I'll put... Ooh, can I do this without breaking the power system? I think I can. Yeah, that should work. It's just... I just have to... I mean, it's gonna it's gonna break the power system for a minute while I'm actually doing this, but then it fixes itself right away again, and all is well. So it's all good. Uh, let's just do this. Oop, misplaced that one. Do the same over here, and there we go. And that looks pretty good, I think. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. We do have to get this up here. And as far as these ones go, maybe... Do we want to go with maybe the Abyssal Stone here? Let's just take a look at that. How would that look? Eh, not terrible. I'd almost... Hmm. I think it's definitely an improvement over the normal stone. But I don't know that I love it either. What if we were to go with uh, maybe the marble instead? Let's just take a look at that. How would the marble look? Although I'm almost afraid to use more marble. Hmm. I think I like the Abyssal Stone better between those two. It's hard to say. Like, they're pretty close, but I think I like the Abyssal Stone better. Um, maybe the reason that I'm not in love with this is because the floors down here are still stone? Yeah, I think that might be it. That might be the trick right there is to swap these out as well. And I do have quite a bit of this Abyssal Stone just kind of lying around. Uh, it was it, Once you find some, you find quite a lot of it. And I really am digging the look of that. That looks pretty good, I think. And then we'll maybe do something like that. And like that. Yeah, check that out. That is awesome looking. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And then we can maybe fill that in as well. Yeah, that's a good look. Okay, cool. Let me get that done to the other side here, guys. I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. I got it this done to this side as well. And I think pretty much all that's left now is to do something with kind of this upper area up here. And I'm thinking right along here we'll do the Abyssal Stone. We'll do the same over on this side as well, I think. Just like that. There we go. Um, I think I probably want to do that up here too. Is that go about halfway? Looks like it does. Can I reach that? I cannot. Okay. But yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And then we'll do the same on this side as well. Just get that going in here. There we go. And then I'm thinking 
We want this to probably be abyssal stone as well. Uh, and I think I need to chisel up. Ooh, am I out? Ooh, I am pretty much out of abyssal stone. Okay, I'll have to make, I'll have to go get more, but that's, that's not a big deal. I can do that. Um, for now, in, in that case, just for now, let's, uh, let's just worry about these sections, right? Let's just worry about the, the end walls then, uh, since I'm running really low on the stone and I'll fix the rest of it. Uh, I'll get enough abyssal stone to fix the kind of back areas. Um, I'll do that like between episodes or something. Because I think for now, can I make that? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. There we go. Because I think that looks amazing. I think that's awesome. I love it. That is so much cooler looking than what we had at the beginning of this episode. I am very, very happy with it. But guys, I am definitely out of time for this one. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.